Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. As the Central Bank of Bahrain CBB has announced the release of 150 Islamic short-term leasing bonds issued by the Central Bank of Bahrain on the behalf of the government. The total value of issue is 26 million Bahraini dinars for the maturity of 182 days starting in February and until August 2018. The expected return of these bonds is 3.27% compared to 3.15% for those previous issues on the 11th of January 2018 with 100% coverage. Several hundred demonstrators at California Capitol called on Trump administration to drop plans to expand offshore drilling. Protesters gather in Sacramento ahead of the public meeting where the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management will explain its proposal and collect comments. Supporters of the offshore drilling said it would lessen the country's dependence on foreign oil and create jobs in California and other coastal states. State commissions that oversee coastal lands and water have pushed the Trump administration to leave California out of plans to expand offshore drilling, warning the state would block the construction of pipelines needed to get oil back to the lands. And now to Germany, as Germany's biggest industrial union and employers have reached a wage deal that gives workers an equivalent of 3.5% of annual raises over 27 months and the chance to work a 28-hour week for the two, two weeks and two years. Such wage gains uh, could boost the German economy by increasing consumer spending and if they spread to other sectors and countries, they could raise inflation across the 19-country eurozone from its current weak levels. Something the European Central Bank has been trying to do for years. Regional agreements are typically applied across the whole country and some 3.9 million industrial workers. The deal involves the possibility of more flexible working hours and the continuous issue in a strong economy with some firms running at full capacity and facing shortages of skilled workers in some areas. And now to stocks, as European stock indexes opened lower today after another tumble on the Wall Street the day before caused jitters through global markets. European markets had already fallen on Thursday, so their declines were not as deep as those seen elsewhere. Britain's FTSE 100 fell 0.4% to 7,141 points, while Germany's DAX was flat at 12,262, and France's CAC 40 declined 0.4% to 5,136. Asian markets also followed U.S. stocks down after the Dow coming off a record high entered a correction or a 10% decline from its latest peak for the first time in two years. And now to the Asian markets. The Asian markets dropped after the Dow Jones Industrials on Wall Street plummeted more than 1,000 points, deepening a week-long sell-off. Asian markets followed Wall Street down after the Dow entered correction territory for the first time in two years. Hong Kong's Hang Seng fell 4.2% today. China's the Shanghai Composite Index dipped 5.5%, but recovered slightly to end morning trading down 4.1%. And that's all for the business news for this evening, and it's back to you, Sandra.